Hello, curling fans, and welcome to the Barry Curling Club for the Stu Sells Tanker, Stu Sells Junior Tanker. We are just getting started here. Uh, apologies if you were watching the streaming earlier. We had a little bit of a technical issue with the streaming, so we lost our uh, signal for the last game that we were streaming, the Howard against Team Casper, Team Casper becoming... Victorious in that game, going to three and one, and Glenn's team was out at one and three. Uh, but it was a very exciting seventh end. Glenn looked like he was going to tie it up, uh, but Casper made some great shots at the end to only give Howard a score of one, and then handshakes happened. So, welcome to the Stu Sells Tanker. It's Stu Sells Junior Tankered up here in Barry. Happy Thanksgiving for all those people who are waiting for the turkey. And hope you're enjoying the holiday with family and friends. But if you're bored with your family and friends and you want to come down to the Berry Curling Club, we'd love to have you here. We have a great restaurant. We have a great bar. Great bartenders. Staff and volunteers are amazing. Come have a glass of wine. Watch some curling. We have seven sheets going on all day till probably midnight tonight. And... We have teams from all over the world, Scotland, Switzerland, China, Japan, the States. So there's great curling happening. The spectator lounge is full. The energy is great. So come down and enjoy. So we are trying to do some of the math. It's not 100% certain, but we do have a must win game for both these teams uh, to get into a tie-break situation to maybe go forward in the playoffs. They're both one and two, so they both need to go to two and two, and then it will come down to shootouts and stuff. Uh, so it's uh, going to be a very good game because it's a must win for both. We have Team Armstrong from, the, uh, from Ottawa, and we have Team Dago from Halifax, Nova Scotia. So, Team Dago won the draw to get the hammer. And we are underway. So, Team Armstrong has put the center guard up, trying to come in a little bit deeper. And... Dago decided to draw in, so we're going to go actually going to freeze to the rock that was just shown, thrown by Dago. So team's not messing around in this game. We're getting right into it. Like I said, both teams have to win in order to stay live in the event. So it looks like we're a little out and a little heavy. Nope. Might get a little rub off. Just a little out, a little heavy. So if you're new to curling or just uh, tuning in, you'll hear numbers being shouted by some of these teams. They said they had a 14-4, that's hog to hog. Uh, just gives them an idea. They time the rocks. Some people do T-line to hog, hog to hog, and it just gives them a sense of how, how the speed of the ice is so they can give information back to the skip, give information to their team that's throwing. First one from Michaela has to curl. They feel it's a little heavy. They're saying it's going to tap. Not a bad shot. A lot of jamming possibilities there. I'm here with our amazing streaming crew. Jerry's at home. Thomas is here.
Okay, we are back. We had a little bit of a technical glitch there. And giving up the four. And now we're in the second and pretty clean. And although Daigle is sitting one behind a guard, setting up for the deuce. That four points, you got to shake it off. And you got to get back right at it. And there's lots of curling left done because they've got a nice one buried. So Haley will try and hit and roll this one over and freeze on the one behind the guard to try and cut that rock out. But main objective hit this one. Okay, welcome back to the Barry Curling Club for the Stu Sells Tankard, Stu Sells Junior Tankard. We have a must-win game here on Sheet 3. Team Armstrong from Ottawa is battling Team Dago from Nova Scotia in a must-win game for both teams. Um, it's unsure about the playoff schedule for these two teams. Because they're both one and two, the winner will be two and two, and then it'll come down to some tie-breaking scores and things like that. So, but it's a must-win. A one and three, you're definitely out in the pool. So it was off to a rocky start. Daigle had the hammer, gave up a steal of four, and got the hammer back and two scored the deuce. So now we're back in the game, looking for probably a steal here, and. Looks good so far, setting up the center guards. This one's a little out. Didn't get over to the center line. We are here all weekend on stewcurls.com and curlingzone.com. If you want to watch some amazing curling, we have 66 teams, seven sheets, two events going on, the stew cells tanker, Stu Sells Junior Tankard. So if you're in the Barrie area, come on down. Have a drink. Watch some curling. We have some great curling happening. Teams from all over the world. Scotland, Switzerland, the United States, Japan, China. And, of course, some of our best teams in Canada are here. Curling all weekend. So if you're in the area, come down. The food here is great. The bar staff is here to serve. The members and staff are awesome. We're having a great weekend here. So do pop in if you're in the area to watch some good curling. So I think that their call was a run back, but you know what? Not bad. It's still in the center guard. Got off, so open it up a bit for Daigle to try and get in there. But Armstrong is looking pretty strong with two rocks in. So Mikhail Robert, very good friend of myself and the Stu Cells team, longtime high park curler where I curl. Used to curl against her dad, Steve Robert, but um, they moved out to Collingwood and they're curling out there. But he is an amazing performer with his band WD50. If you ever need a great band, their music's awesome. They're a lot of fun. 
And Michaela is one of the strongest curlers out there. So coming in, try and get around these yellows. Sit sort of center line, top 12, top eight. They're really pounding to get by. Ooh, great sweep job. Kayla comes out of the High Park Curling Club, which has a great history of some great junior curlers that have gone on to some professional teams. So High Park's my home club. Big shout out to them. I hope they're all watching. Great club in the city of Toronto. Amazing veranda to sit and enjoy wine, watch some grass tennis but we also have a very strong curling membership and a very good youth program there. So it's a wonderful club. So Marley's coming down for a little chat. They obviously do not want to give up a deuce here and be down 6-2. Ideally, they would love to steal. A force of one's okay, but they do not want to be giving up a bunch. So they're trying to position the rocks that the the just the skip can use when it comes to her shots. So because they're down, these shots are key and crucial. So they're just having a little conversation of what their plans are for the next couple of rocks to see where they all will land. Okay, boys, I got a really crazy fun fact. This was in the Guinness Book of World Records. The longest match was in 2017, Coldwell, Ontario. It was 105 hours, 6 minutes, and 51 seconds. That's over four days. I wonder what the... But I just couldn't imagine playing all that time. And the ice... But I just couldn't imagine playing all that time and the ice and rocks must have been horrible by day f day four because if you have to be continuous you can't scrape or do anything anyways very interesting but that's a fun fact of curling if you're new to the sport and new to watching it this game will not go on for 104 hours i guarantee you that <laughs> So a nice soft hit here would be great if it could roll on top of her reds and sit up a bunch. Uh, the worst would be a little out and you'd be angled that yellow into the reds. But in any event, team... But, you know, in curling, there's always plan A's, plan B's. That's not a bad plan B to clear the center guards when you have the hammer and you want to score. You don't want the drop half block, so that's not that bad. So I think they got caught in that. They thought she was inside, thought it was going to curl. So they jumped on it, but I think they straightened it out, pulled it back out, and thus hit it a, a little bit too thin, wanted to hit it thicker. But not a bad result. The red rocks are off. But now they're going to have to find in control. If they hit this, they'll be sitting three. Mikhail's also a fabulous sweeper. Gonna try and make this curl. Don't know if we'll get enough of a roll, but the main objective make sure it goes away. Yeah. 
side maybe, but curl, curl, curl. curl. Now they're trying to make curl. They do need the roll. Didn't get the roll that they wanted. Still a good shot. Main objective, make the rock go away. The yellow might jam on the back red. So Lindsay came down and suggested that now that they're sitting three, maybe hitting one and rolling is a better call. You can roll in behind the guard and you can get rid of one rock. Uh, and because you don't want to be giving up three here, that would be probably game over. <laughs> so, but Jess is confident she can draw in there. Drawing one in behind is just as good. Has to be completely buried behind the yellow. And, but they still have the red that's off center to they can use to run back. So key shot here by Jess. She's got to force a steal would be the best case scenario. A force of one would be her second best case scenario. Ideally, she would not want to give up two here and be down six. Okay, I think they're on it for weight and line. Uh, just a little light. I think you kind of go right around and let her go like that. So then yeah. we still have the red fuse afterwards. So just handed by, uh, so 392 ends of curling, gore of 450 to 237. And the, that was only 10 curlers. And they did last 105 hours, 6 minutes, 51 seconds. So that is crazy. Brittany Pierce was on the ice for most of the grueling adventure and was ecstatic to find out that her game broke the world record. So there you go. If you have nothing to do for five days, you can curl and get into the Guinness Book of World Records. My brother tried it once. He tried to bounce a basketball for the longest time of anyone. Whoa, whoa. It was in my mom's basement, bas bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. And it had to be whoa, continuous. Whoa. It was cray cray, whoa. he and his friend. No, whoa. So unfortunate. Because now, as if she doesn't freeze right on that back. Kim McLaughlin and Deborah Bain of Remax Hallmark have always been a big supporter of the Stu Cell series. Myself, Stu, and Jenny, my niece, on the Stu Sells Realty team. If you need any real estate needs, go to stusells.ca. This one is Whoa. hanging again, Three. but. I think Marley is going for the wick, but I think they may have missed it. Uh. So they jumped on it. Too late. Marley had the right idea. I think Marley wanted to keep it going and tick off the red, but I think they just got on it too late and they miss it. If they had ticked that and rolled over, it would have been an awesome shot. So this could be, <laughs> it's definitely a hit for four. I don't know if it's five. I don't know if the top yellow out counts the back red, but it's definitely a hit for four. An 8-2, they might play back for fun, but an 8-2 is a pretty deep score. I, think I don't really like that ice. Okay, no, I think with the ridge, I think we almost throw more weight and we just play this. Okay. The only, I just it's don't okay want to hang. It's okay if we nut it. I know, but I don't want to hang and do this. I think I'm playing it to be tight, though, is what I'm saying. Okay. Like, 
10? Like a 10, yeah. Okay. I, don't I just think, think because the ridge, it's just because of the ridge is the problem. Like, if you do hit it at all, it is hanging it out. Like, I think if you just... Even if you nut, like, nut it like that. Yeah, I'm fine with losing that. Even if you nut it, like, high, even if you're high and you don't hit that, you're still, I think you're still through the hole. Okay. They hit it. Oh, I don't think they're concerned it. about catching the red on the back because they'll still be scoring four. So, good conversation, Paige. Instead of adjusting oh. in your hand. So eight to two. Just two tough draws by Jess Daigle on that end. Got caught in that straight spot. Doing a great couple ends to be up eight to two. Hey guys, welcome to the Stew Cells team's brand new listing. So go to stewcells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me Stu a call for a personal tour. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. And we are back here in Barrie, Ontario for the Stu Cells Tankard, Stu Cells Junior Tankard, and a little bit of a blowout on our feature game. A must win, but it's eight to two. A couple of missed draws by Team Daigle, Lindsay Burgess. We always appreciate our teams from other provinces coming because we know it is a big expense for them to fly and get hotels and all that, so. A big shout out to all the teams that have come from all over the world to come here and curl at my Stu Cells event. I'm Stu of the Stu Cells series and StuCells.ca. So we're here all weekend. So keep watching some great curling. We have six uh, StuCurls.com and CurlingZone.com. So good start putting up the corner guards. Must get a deuce. At least <laughs> three or four would be better. <laughs> but Team Armstrong is out of the gate looking very, very strong. And I don't think they have missed a shot yet to give you that chance to score three or four. So let's see how we progress. So Mikhail is looking for like a top 12 just off center. Cover the back rock. This one seems to be taking off. But if they can curl in behind. Great shot. So freeze is going to be the call. Team Daigle has to put rocks in play. Has to junk it up. Has to hope for a miss on a hit with a jam or something in order to score multiple points. Forcing this freeze. Freeze, one of the hardest shots in curling to make. And Marley looks heavy. 
So maybe you go on the back one. You don't want it to curl by. Probably ship it on that to come onto the back one instead of going through that hole. But they just didn't jump on the sweeping call. So they got caught in between. So now, keeping it clean, Team Armstrong will start clearing the guards. Good shot. Little bit for line. Whoa. So just things, Marley's a little inside. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. No, 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 not if you're heavy. No. Nope. Yeah, rub off it, rub off it, rub off it. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Okay, good. Not a bad shot because there are jamming possibilities. Okay. If you go to hit it. Yeah, we, yeah. And this is what Team Diego, <laughs> Team Diego yeah, needs well. is some misses. Yeah. So they can. The freeze is the call again. Team Armstrong is not letting up on both teams in a must must win situation. They're both one and two. Even though one of the teams after will win, well, one will win, obviously, but uh, there's no guarantee you'll go forward in the playoffs because then it's going to come down to other factors in their pool because they'll be two and win, must be two and two to have any hope. Tough one now because... Haley can hit that one, but I definitely think I don't no. think. Well, they're blocking off the freeze now, so. <laughs> You're up, stay. Okay. Oh. They're going to just have another chance to make this better, and I'm not going to be able to get it out. I think. Like, we're sitting two. We're up six. I'll give them two right now if they want it. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Like, we'll happily give them two. Yeah. Yeah, I just think that it is easy to jam. That's what they're coming, they're drawing around behind to protect so they get the points. So why would you leave that guard up there? So good call, good conversation between Vice and Skip. So, a little bit of a mistake there. They're on its own. Lots of room. On it. Yep. To jam on, to go, 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 freeze onto that one. Because it's just going to curl right. by like Marley's did. Great, 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 great. See, good. Much better call. Oh. Yeah. So Haley's just gonna get rid of this one. She doesn't mind losing her back you red. Your last one in or did it I don't think I threw it great. You did dump it, it's just good to know yeah. for the ice. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, yeah, hard, 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 hard. So good result, make it go away. Are we going to see a fourth attempt at this freeze? <laughs> I mean, you can throw that run and roll. I, I think I kind of have yeah. to. Yeah. If you can get one there. Yeah. And then we have the top for two. Yeah. Yeah. 
Another attempt at the corner freeze, but it is the right call. You have. Still looking for like a four three. Okay, so we're hanging out again. So looks like she's heavy again. So she's got a freeze on the back one. No separation, no tap. She really needed that freeze to hopefully maybe get a miss and get a three. Oh, is it? Okay, good Same conversation way. again with Haley and Jessica. Worried that she might have had a little bit too much ice and it would run straight on the line. Uh, yeah, nine. It was an eight five. She just threw um, it pretty confident. All she has to do is make this go away. I like this. Yeah, same way. I think that's good. Worst case I mean, less, so scenario, if she, yeah, she over curls and she hits and rolls out, and she's seen an interesting play on the other red, but it's a pretty open hit. not pretty to be honest yeah th th this looks easier to me yeah yeah well, it's, it's over buried by an inch yeah I don't think I don't think that's fair I think we should So they're having a good look. They're really trying to figure out how they could get all three. the rocks in play, but. I don't think it's ever for three. No. No. Like, I, yeah, I really don't think this is there. No. I think even this one must make shot. Or I think we will be seeing handshakes if this is not made. But here we go. Last rock in the fourth end. Oh. Dago yes. with the hammer. Looking oh. for a multiple scoring yes. point. Yes. 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 Work. Work. Oh, and rolled up and out. I think that will probably be it. They're going to play one more. <laughs> you boys will have to wait for your tuna melt. <laughs> okay, we are 9-2, to two, heading into the fifth. Now let's hear from our amazing sponsors. Hey guys, welcome to the Stu Sells team's brand new listing. And we are out here in Waterdown. And you know what? If you are sick and tired of being in the city, you know, we all love Toronto. I love Toronto, but you know what? Maybe it's a little bit too crowded. Maybe there's a little bit too much gridlock. Maybe there's no place to walk and go see cool stuff. So come on out to Waterdown. It's awesome. Beautiful little village. You can walk, great shops, cafes. 
We have the Waterdown Memorial Park just over the street. It's got a splash pad, baseball diamond. It's got a skateboarding thing for kids. We have a huge Fortino's. I was in there today getting flowers. It's crazy, that story. It's unbelievable. So you have bike paths and you have the Bruce Trail and you have a ton of parks. And we're in this lovely, quiet little subdivision. And look behind me, just say freaking gorgeous. This house is spectacular. Custom built, beautiful finishes. We have decor black stainless steel appliances, quartz counters throughout, three quarter inch white oak hardwood floor, ceramic tile. You want light, you want windows, you want bright. This house is gorgeous, super modern, open concept main floor, living, dining. It's got a butler's pantry, this office on the main floor. Upstairs we have three bedrooms and you know what? Every bedroom gets their own bathroom. And the master has a steam glass shower in it with a beautiful soaker tub. It's just luxury, luxury, high-end, luxury, high-end, luxury, high-end. This home is gorgeous. So go to stewsells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me, Stu, a call for a personal tour. All right, welcome back to the Stu Sells Hankard, Stu Sells Junior Tankard. We are here at the beautiful Barry Curling Club for the whole weekend with lots of games from 8 in the morning till midnight. 66 teams, two events side by side, curlers from all over the world, lots of amazing curling. We are in the fifth end with a 9-2 to two lead for Armstrong over Daigle, a must win for both teams. Uh, they're both one and two, so one will be one and three at the end. One will be two and two, uh, and two and two might get you into the playoffs, all depending on other factors in your pool and other factors. So Team Diego's decided to play one more and and are going to put a lot of rocks in play and hope for some jams and some misses and. Maybe some fairy dust and, I don't know, maybe a little bit of praying. All of the above to try and get, I would think they would need at least three or four to continue. I think a deuce doesn't even get them there. But Team Armstrong came out of the gate, has hardly missed anything, curling extremely well. And Team Dago's been curling well as well. Just got caught in some of those pass on the ice where it's straight and not curling team dago from halifax jess dago mary driscoll marley powers and lindsey burgess so we thank all our teams who travel far and wide to get to the stew sales events my name is Stu. i'm the main sponsor stewsells.ca if you need any real estate needs but i'm very grateful for teams that travel far to be in my events because I know it is expensive I didn't call a nine, for not flights field. and hotels oh, and the oh, event oh. so it's uh, very awesome that I get teams from Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan, Quebec you know and thank you very much for picking a Stu Cell series event to come to okay, I think it's So we're here all weekend, stewcurls.com and curlingzone.com. You can see all the scores, live streaming on both sites. I'm good. So key shot here, you've got to get this I'm rock good. on play. you got to draw behind the guard. Team Daigle has to put rocks I'm in play. Good. Preferably rocks and play in the house, <laughs> but a little light. Uh, we haven't really curled much out that side uh, for the whole game. Everything's been pretty much down the center, so probably just got caught in a fresh path. And now, obviously, Haley's going to keep it clean and yeah. start hitting because she doesn't want rocks and play because she knows that's where you could get into trouble and give up a big end. So we'll see the cleanup come, getting rid of the rocks out front.
So Peel trying to get rid of both. Gets rid of the one. So we're here at the Bay Area Curling Club. If you're in and around the area, we'd love to have you come in and watch some curling. We have seven sheets going all day. The spectator lounge is full. The bartenders are great. The food here is delicious. So come grab a beer, grab a glass of wine, come watch some awesome curling. Staff here is amazing. So, uh, rock and play is a rock and play, even though it's back 12, it's still good. So our next game is gonna be a men's game. It's gonna be Arsenal against Rowan. And I believe 445. They're going to be on. Steve Robert is going to be doing the commentary for that game. You know, even though he didn't get rid of it, did push the guard over. So not bad, but gives him an opportunity to hide a rock. So they got caught in the line. They thought it was going to curl that one, but it was fine. Ideally, it would like to have buried a little bit more, maybe a little less ice on that path. So just worried it's Nine? not yep. curly enough, not curly enough for peel weight. So <laughs> vice says just take less ice. So the adjustment has been made, and see a peel hit, get rid of the rocks. The objective of Team Armstrong is not to have rocks in play. The objective of Team Daigle is to have rocks in play. Oh, this one's all over the guard. But once again, not bad. Yep, tear. Oh. Yeah. So one of the first misses that we've seen out of Team Armstrong. No, I think guard. They have to peel it. So we put a third one in. So good call. They thought about guarding the two. I didn't mind putting one around the guard, but this call is if you freeze it right onto that top yellow, if they try to remove it, you might get lucky and the yellow will jam on the back red and right the other yellow will stay. Get some room. Get some room. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. It's not a bad shot. But I think a double is there. If we over curl, it's okay to just if you like just to get the roll also. 
I'd rather hit this high and send this towards this than over curl. Okay, nine, right? Yeah. You really just have to kill one. So good comment there from Haley. Don't play too cute to the broom and the eyes. We're totally fine here when you're up seven points. Uh, so don't play cute to it. Just make sure one goes away. If you catch the back one, added bonus. Peel away coming at this shot right now. Haley Armstrong's first skip zone. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, 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 yep. Carry hard on yep, carry hard. Hard, Gary. <laughs> Holy shit, that fell. Sugar. I think I heard sugar. I didn't think it was sugar. So Haley got a little caught. She went on that out, a little bit more out. And as we've been talking all weekend, there's that line. You get a little bit on the outside with any weight. It just floats. She was lucky to get a little yeah, I don't think we can freeze. piece to get rid of it, but the one yeah. did roll. You know, even though she is up seven points, giving up a four might uh, get the Dago riled up again and get back into this game. So must be careful with this one. They're going to like draw around, try and get in front of that red. So if there is a play on it, there's a jam. I think we will see a playback, though. Because I think if they get three, nine to five, they might probably play it back. But we'll see. But a nine to f uh, they get four, nine to six, I definitely think they're playing back. So this has to be put perfectly so that the jam is in play. But it's got to be third Nine. shot. It's got to be third shot. Yep. Hard. 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 Keep going. Hard. 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 Keep going. Hard. Hard. Okay, just there. Just there. Good. Good piece, guys. Different time. Not bad, but not third shot. So it had to be a little deeper. Four. Just those. Yeah. You don't have lots of room to roll. Okay. So Bobby. make one go away. Can't get them all, so no point in trying to be cute. Just make one go away. Still will be a tough shot for three. Because they'll have to play on that red one and hope it doesn't jam. So just a hit for two. Good. Needed that one to be a little bit deeper and a little bit in the way of that. So having another look, she has a good point. Two is really nothing. Nine to four. Do you want to go for the long double? I like a spinner with heel. That's a good call. Two, Getting two, two points two. is really not going to get them much. They probably handshake. So why not go for the three? It's a long angle. It's a long angle double, but totally worth it if you can make it and you get the three.
So she says she's going to throw a spinner, put a lot of rotation on it so that she gets oh, a good cross. Oh, okay. And swing and a big mess. Good game, guys. Good luck. So good luck. that's steal, another steal of one. So 10 to 2 is our final here in the fifth end. Team Armstrong beating Team Dago from Nova Scotia. Now Team Armstrong wants to sit and wait and see how the standings unfold for the afternoon. So join us back at 445. We are going to switch the streaming to another game on the ice that's not going to have any commentating or any mics, but we'll still show you some curling so you can watch. So thanks for tuning in, but keep watching stewcurls.com, curlingzone.com. My name's Stu. Thanks for watching all day, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day of great curling.